Hi everybody, it's still Janine. I'm still the curator at the Lighthouse Art Center in Tequesta. And I ran out of juice on the last video. I said I was going to continue showing you the artwork from this K through 12 exhibition here. And, um, and then blink, out it went. So we are now in the main gallery and you're looking at work from the 49th annual kindergarten through 12th grade exhibition 474 pieces of art in the show we're now in the upper grades room so this particular wall is the 11th grade and i'm not going to take a lot of time to explain each piece to you because you wouldn't want me to do that the video would be too long i just want you to look at the quality of these pieces so we have all media and what's interesting, 27 schools, I mentioned this in the last video, the first part, if you hadn't seen that, um, and the schools are within a 40-mile radius of the Lighthouse Art Center here in Tequesta. Um, we, we offer awards to the kids who participate in this show, and they're just $25 awards. They don't go to everyone. Um, out of the 474 pieces, we gave... 90 awards. Now the Junior Women's Club and the Women's Club of Jupiter Tequesta have um, sponsored some of those awards for quite a long time, I think like 40 years. And then other people got involved too. So we have board members who name awards after themselves or their children and artists who decide that they want to sponsor awards. And that's how we got to 90 awards this year. Isn't this beautiful? This is a um, community project or group project that was done by Beacon Cove Elementary. Um, these are kids who are in the fifth grade art club. Nice, right? But around the corner here we have ninth graders. There's photography, graphite, clay, around here. It's really astonishing work. You know, kudos to the art teachers in all of these schools. I, I personally think that you can teach any subject through the arts, but you would expect me to think nothing less, right? I hope you would agree with me. So I think that these teachers are just doing a beautiful job, really coaching the best out of their students. We're moving here to the 10th grade, and um, you'll see a really wide variety of exceptional talent. Isn't they beautiful? Look at this. I mean, I can go on and on. But the video would be, you know, four, four hours long if I did. And you'd grow tired of me before you grow tired of the artwork. Moving into the 12th grade now. So we've got collage, watercolor, acrylics. This is see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. You know, it's surprising to me is that some of these kids in the 12th grade had never taken art classes before. For instance, this girl, first year in art, and do you know she started with watercolor? Apparently she doesn't know how hard watercolor can be. This beautiful guitar is hand-painted, and not only was it hand-painted, but the girl who painted it Look, it's done on the back, too. Um, also played it for us. There are so many people who come to the awards receptions for the show that we have to break it into two different nights. So the first award reception was for the, um, eight, uh, nine, let me see, 6th through 12th grade. And we had uh, almost 400 people here in the gallery that night. Isn't that amazing? And she played for us. Nice piece of clay. Mm-hmm. This is this boy's first year in art. Pretty impressive. Coming around the corner here. This is our 55, 55th year actually in um, 
in business, providing art continually in um, Palm Beach County, Florida. Look at this piece. Can you believe that's made by a 12th grader? She has an excellent um, art instructor, Brian Kobuchik at Jupiter High School. Look at this. We're just about finished. Nice pieces, right? So thank you so much for spending this time with us. Lighthouse Art Center is in Tequesta, Florida. And our web address is www.lighthousearts.org. If you'd like to visit, you can see videos from all of the shows that we've done. Gives me hope for the future. Talk about a creative community. We've got one right here. Thanks for watching. Come visit us if you can.